If this is you, man, these rims look sick. Then I'll tell you what, you're gonna stick around. I got something really neat to share with you guys. It's a lamb's wool, merino wool wheel mitt. I'll tell you what, it is soft, it's plush, it feels amazing on the hand, and it does a real good job cleaning the wheels. So if you have the attention span that lasts about seven and a half seconds, that's really all you need to know. Amazing, soft, works great. Links are in the description. We'll see you on the next one. But if you wanna join me, I'll show you around, show you how this thing works. Now, here's my thought on this. First off, welcome to the channel. You know who you are, man. I didn't forget about you. <laughs> so when I first pulled this out of the packaging, it came from a company, Flexi Pads, and I'll tell you what, it's packaged well. When I first pulled it out, I thought to myself, this looks like a Russian Ushanka. <laughs> like Sean Connery had with the ear muffs, the big wool hat. This thing is amazing. Or an Eskimo mitt. It feels good on the hand. I'll tell you what. And uh, the quality is insane. And the price, $13. You can't beat that. I recommend having a few of these. Now, on the packaging, it says don't use with really harsh chemicals. It is all natural. You're going to get quite a bit of use out of it with our normal p s Brake Buster or Adam's Wheel Cleaner or stuff like that. But if you start getting into the super harsh, acidic, uh, type wheel cleaners, I think you should be using some brushes or, or something different. So that's my thought on that right away. Now, when I first put this into the wheel bucket, it stuck good to my hand. It's got a nice leather insert in it. Um, it's not an insert actually, it's the backing. This is real uh, wool. So, and it has good stitch work. It all looks good. When I put it on my hand, I, I realize like it doesn't, you know, obviously it comes off easy, but if I just spread my fingers a tiny bit, man, it's not going anywhere. It enabled me to get around on those wheel faces really easy, get back up inside and really work the back sides of those uh, wheel spokes or wheel faces and get all those hard to reach areas. So when I'm done washing the wheels, I just take and put it into a clean bucket of water, give it a good strong ring, get all that water out. Then I take and fluff the fur up so it's not all matted. Once I bring it back into the shop, I just find a place to hang it. For me, right there on the handle of my Cox hose reel, and it's good and dry and ready for the next time. For you people that have really nice vehicles or you take pride in your vehicles, this is one of the nicest you know, tools that I, I've, I've come across and it's, it's soft, it's amazing. Make no mistake about it. If you're gonna be doing a four wheel drive with dirt caked all over it and, and uh, brake dust thick, six month old brake dust, get your brushes out and do the brush work. That's the best way to go. This is more for people that have really nice vehicles and they wanna use, put a nice touch on it. So tell me down in the comments below, what methodology are you using? using brushes, using a wheel mitt. If you are using a wheel mitt, which type have you tried? Has anybody tried this? I wanna hear what you think about it. All in all, I give this an A plus, really. It's, it's, it's that good. At $13, I, I recommend having at least two of these. That's pretty much all I got to say about the Merino wool wheel mitt. And then I'll tell you what, you guys won't be disappointed if you check this one out. This is worth it, guys. I'd grab a few of these. And of course, links will be in the description. You know I appreciate it. And all the products I like, this is one of them. This thing's sick. I'll tell you what. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there. I'll be cleaning my wheels with that in the future. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.